Hi guys, this is Gautam and in this video we're gonna discuss about event reason derivation rule and this is part 2 video. Uh, in last video, that is part 1, we have uh, discussed what is event, what is event reason, how to create event reason. I have showed you how to create event reason and in this part we're gonna do the part 2 things, what we need to do once we created the event reason. So, uh, there is a new concept called event region derivation rule event region derivation rule is a rule which describes about the action you are doing for the particular event so whenever you have uh, written something event region derivation rule and assigned in job information or comp information portlet and when you make that action which is involved in the business rule then automatically the event region would be triggered and uh, after saving the record you can get the record named with the particular event reason name so in this case i want to go forward and show you how to create event reason business derivation rule so first of all in last video we created a event reason right so let's go to that event reason manage organization pay and job structure So we'll check our existing event reason which we created that is position change. So this was the event reason which we created in part 1. So now this video gonna be the part 2 where I will be telling you about how to create an event reason derivation rule. So this was the event reason. So for this event reason, we're going to create a event reason derivation rule. So in order to create any rule, we'll be going to configure business rules. That is the transaction to write business rules. So on clicking on configure business rules, you'll be placed with an business rules interface and now this is the plus icon where if you want to create anything you just need to click on this plus icon and sap success factor has defined a particular rule type in order to use it for event reason derivation rule so that can be found under employee central core category and here you can see trigger rules for event reason derivation you can use this scenario to create rules that derive the event reason for the job information model and compensation information model. This is because event reasons is only valid for two portlets. Only you can create event reasons that, that is for job information model and compensation information model. Other than this port, two portlets, you can't create any event reasons for any other portlets and it is not supported for other portlets other than these two portlets so now we're gonna create a rule and we'll be keeping the same name as position change rule uh, rule id would be also the same now we'll be selecting job information model and it is uh, prescribed to use job information model every time because job information model is an effective data portlet which will be having current data and historical data whereas if you select only job information here it will only cover the current data it won't cover the historical data so that is called as non-effective data entity that is called as effective data entity so now we will be creating uh, business rules I'll be explaining this rule once after I create the rule. So just wait for uh, five minutes.
so now we will be writing the second condition <coughs> that is job title previous value is not equal to job title current value and again we will be writing job classification previous value is not equal to job classification current value and now we will be writing then condition here click on set event reason value is equal to the created event reason which we created that is position change as i already showed you in event reason screen part one we have created a position change event reason right so this is the event reason which we created let me show you so this is the event reason which we created and we assign the same event reason now coming to the role I will be explaining the scenario if job information model event reason value is equal to null that means if there is any action doing and there is no rule created for it then again come to and and just derive or reason from it so that out of these three conditions if you are satisfying any one condition and the, there is no particular event reason existed before for this same action then the following event reason should trigger i am telling you again if the job information event reason value is null, null that means there is no event reason but this specified position change before and if it is null as of now and deriving an or condition out of which where if the position is changed or else the job classification is changed or the job title is changed any of these three any one condition is changed then the following event reason will be triggered that is the position change which we created event reason which i showed you here so now just click on save so out of these three conditions if any one of the condition is satisfied then obviously this event reason will be triggered so this is called as event reason derivation rule now we need to assign it on a job information model as on save because while saving the record the event reason should be triggered for the particular reason just go to manage business configuration I need to refresh the screen. So this was the managed business configuration and I need to assign the derivation rule on the job information, right? Just click on job information. And make correction. So we'll just change the rule position change the rule. This was the business rule which we created and it should be job information model as we took this as base object and it should be on save and enabled as S. Click on save. Confirm it. And just go to any employee. I'll be going to Sarah David. And we'll try to change the position. So let's go to her position of chart and let's find her position. 
In order to change a position, you would be probably need to create a new position or copy the same position and change the position. So let's go to object. So there is already a job change and the position change. So we'll be taking the old position because you can see here the position is assigned here and again the position is changed for the Jan 2 which is future record. Today's the date is 31st of December. So future record. So as of now we'll be taking again the same position here. So here it, it, this is the position just click on copy now go to job information history insert new record and click on the effective date which you want I want to exist this new record that is the change of this position from 4th jam that is future dated So uh, it is not the best practice to do like this. Instead of this, just go to click on action, change job and control. Whenever you want to change any data for any employee or create any event agent, assign any event agent or uh, assign the existing values, update the existing values, you just need to go to actions and click on the type of change you want in which portlet i want to change job information so this is the best practice to do the change and uh, simply going on to the down record and clicking on pencil i can editing it is not the best practice which sap has different so sap has defined to do in a way where you are gonna go to actions and select the particular change so i want a position change on fourth so let me change the position from planner to this one see position is changed job classification is not changed and job title is not changed here the rule we wrote is either in these three conditions any one condition should be satisfied job classification previous value is not equal to current value job classification previous value is same current value same so this condition is satisfied not satisfied as per the rule so again we need to check job title this is also not satisfied as per our rule because job title is same as that but now we can see the old position is this new position is this that means previous value is not equal to current value and this condition is satisfied because previous value is this and current value is the upper one that means it is changed now the event is in which we created and uh, wrote a event is in derivation rule and assigned it to job information should be triggered because we have assigned the rule in a way such if we do any change then automatically the event reason should trigger for the following condition that is position change job class question change or job title change just click on save your changes is done future data i kept as fourth jan right so now you can see this will be effective from fourth jan that is right because we created record on jan 4th and here you can see we created event reason event as position change event reason as position change for more knowledge i'll be showing the event reason which we created so by this we can tell how to trigger event reasons how to write business event reason derivation rule and how to assign to the uh, related portal so that the change would happen automatically no need of assigning any events or event reasons in job information portal just we need to trigger the action in a way so that if we change anything then particular event reason should trigger see here the event we used is 
position change here it shows event as position change event reason id position change event reason name position change you can see this right so the same thing event reason name is position change event reason id is position change so by this we can say we can trigger an event reason by creating event reason and uh, can be achieved by creating a event reason deviation rule i hope this video finds you well and for more content like this keep subscribing my channel thank you bye